Hello YouTube, it's time for the 32nd episode of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino with Inter Calvejo. So this week we have a different focus because for the first time ever we start out by checking out the training report in the senior team and we have a few pops to, um, to report here. Marassi popping from passable to solid playmaking and Martin Rashko passable to solid as well. More interestingly, the homegrown player the star of the team, Tommaso Sanotti, popping from inadequate to passable, and Nick Ottweiler, the profit player, popping from poor to weak. Looking at the overview, we can see that I've uh, I've marked the actual pops in blue and underlined them here, and I've also added the HTMS28 information to the sheet as well. So uh, hopefully soon we'll see more increases. Uh, I failed to report last week that Francioni was injured in the league match, but hopefully we'll see him increase his training soon as well. He did get to play 78 minutes last week, so he didn't lose all that much training. So hopefully we can see some increases to the HTMS 28 because of uh, the sub skill that aren't calculated when the players are promoted. Talking about promoting youth players, let's make a call to the scouts and see if we find anything magnificent this week. Starting off with Pietro Risaliti, 16 years old, Antonio Gasparoni, weak passing and he can have inadequate passing. No thank you. Most of all because he's 16. Okay, we have Damiani Romani, 16 years old, weak playmaking now, weak scoring now and a potential of weak playmaking before joining the senior squad. Let's not. Calling the final scout here. He's 16 years old, four overall skills. He will remain rich playmaking and he can... All right, so we'll pull him and we'll say, thank you for your time. He's almost 17 even. Yeah, we fire Rasponi. So no luck this week. Camelini popped to solid playmaking this week from the youth game and that means that he is on the final step and we have 51 days that's approximately seven weeks before he will be promoted to um, senior squad right so i've had people asking in the comments of last week's episode for me to reveal the entire cycle for these players i've also asked why are we training playmaking initially during the cycle and not starting with defending as you would normally do the reason why we start with playmaking is to align Sonati and Francioni with Camellini coming up from the youth team as well. He'll be coming up with solid playmaking. So initially we train playmaking to align the players and also to be a little competitive in uh, the league games and all that. So after a season's worth of playmaking, 16 weeks minus the first week that I've just reported to you guys, we'll be going on to defending. Then we'll train defending for two seasons, 32 weeks then another season of playmaking and then nine weeks of defending at that time these players will be 21 years and around 60 days and they'll be quite interesting already i'd say so at this point we will be adding wingers to the cycle and that means we'll be training three inner midfielders and two wingers and because of that we will be returning to playmaking training for another two seasons at this point, after the, the playmaking training, we will need a bit of scoring in order to convert chances with the wingers and to and to be able to generate just a little center attack with the core players as well. So at this point, it's set to 13 weeks of scoring. It, for now, I've set it to 13 weeks of training. Uh, chances are we will do less. For now, it's set to 13 weeks of scoring training. Uh, in practice, we might even do less once we reach that phase of the cycle training. Then we move on to passing and the reason why it's uh, it's changed into seasonal training bits here 16 weeks it's because we at this point start increasing the stamina so the first week the first season of uh, passing we are still at 10 percent stamina but the next part will be at 16 percent because at this point we need to bump the stamina in order to be competitive they're reaching 27 years of age and hopefully we can start making our way up through the divisions with these players. Then playmaking, 22%. That's because we are close to the peak uh, around 28 years of age. The season after, we increased to 24% stamina. And now we are about to reach the final form. We are close to magical playmaking here, but still at mythical. Because we hope that the homegrown bonus will be enough 
on top of a mythical uh, playmaking. Of course, we will continue to train beyond the age of 30 with these players, but um, of course we will be able to train beyond the age of 30 and we might even add more playmaking at some point should it be needed. But at this point we're training passing the final form at 30 years of age. For now, during this cycle, we will continue to train them. We will end up with Sanati at world-class defending, mythical playmaking, world-class passing, and formidable scoring. Chances are that he won't be as high in scoring because we will actually save a little of that. But um, yeah, I was actually planning to reveal this once we had Camellini in the senior team. But uh, since you guys were asking, here's the, the final form of the players and uh, here's uh, the actual cycle as it's planned at the moment. But uh, you never know if we are changing up something uh, while it's going on, chances are we are, but you never know. Right, so it's Sunday evening here and we've just finished our game against Titani FC. We were away from home and looking at the ratings, we didn't stand much of a chance in this game. We didn't have uh, the midfield advantage and we didn't have much chances scoring against Titani um, in this match. Let's have a look at the star ratings. So Nazi playing to 3.5 stars and Francioni for 2.5 stars, so that's quite good. Bad news though, one of our trainees, Lorenzo Marassi, picked up an injury. Uh, so we haven't been all that lucky with the injuries uh, so far since we started the cycle training. Last week it was Francioni, so uh, a little unlucky in that department. Before we end this episode, let's just have a look at the, the friendly from last week, since uh, we didn't quite have the time to do so already. Looking at Ottweiler on the, the flank here, he's playing at 3.5 stars. The main thing to take into consideration here is that we get 120 minutes worth of training and you can do the, this by playing cup rules in the friendly match, trying to engineer a situation where you don't score any goals. Unfortunately for the main team in Denmark, we did also pick up an injury there. That is uh, for uh, training a trainee there. Uh, so. That was a little annoying, but um, yeah, not the most lucky week in Hattrick for me though. Um, let's just have a look at the league before we end, the, end here. As you can probably remember from last episode, we will finish fourth this season and we didn't do much to help improve things today. Um, so yeah, that's how it goes. The main thing to take away from this week's uh, episode is we feel lucky that at least none of the homegrown trainees and the core players obviously have been injured. So uh, that's the positive. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.